Hi guys, it's Mrs. Applegarth, and today we are going to talk group health insurance. Um, this is chapter two, section five. Group health insurance, because if um, your employer offers health insurance, chances are you're going to have to pay a portion of it, and your employer pays a portion of it. Our lesson objective is to calculate the deduction for group insurance. Why do you think employers contribute to the cost of health insurance? Our buddy Jack and his employer pay a part of the cost of health insurance for Jack's family. His share of the cost is deducted from each paycheck. Jack pays 30% of the cost and his employer pays 70%. An employer will have um, will pay for insurance so that um, you will want to work for them. It's um, like a perk of the job. Many businesses offer group insurance plans to their employees. Group insurance costs less to pr purchase than individual insurance. Businesses often pay part of the insurance cost or premium and the employees, you guys, this word premium is gonna come up um, when we talk about insurance quite often. So just to know when we're talking premium, it's the insurance cost. And the employee pays the remaining amount. So the employee's share is whatever it costs for the year times whatever the employee's percent is going to be. And then um, that amount is usually taken out for each pay period. So then we're going to go and take what we pay for insurance and divide it by the number of pay periods per year. Um, please remember that there are 52 weeks in a year, 26 bi-weeklies or every other week, um, 12 months and 24 semi-monthlies. You're going to need that information when we go to do this part here. The dividing. Okay, Nadine McClure is a carpenter for Ozark Construction Company. She has family medical coverage through Ozark's group medical plan. The annual cost of Nadine's membership is 9800 $9,800. The company pays 75% of the cost. How much does she have deducted from her bi-weekly paycheck for medical insurance? So bi-weekly would be the 26. Um, the company pays 75%. So we need to find first the employee amount. So we are going to go 100% minus what the company pays. And you guys, when you put this in your calculator, please just put the 100 minus 75. Do not engage the percent key in this, in this calculation because it's just giving you, um, you don't need it when you're calculating the percent the employee pays. So the employee is paying 25%. So we take our total for the year and multiply it by 25%. So the employee is going to pay $2,450 for the year. So we are going to take that amount, divide it by 26, because there's 26 bi-weeklies. And so every paycheck, $94.23, comes out to pay for that health insurance. All right, we're going to um, do these two problems here to... Um, help reinforce that information. So uh, for our first scenario, our annual cost for insurance is 6570 The employer pays 75%. So let's look at what the employee pays. So 100 minus 70 is 30%. Yay. 
Now let's go ahead and multiply that by our total cost for insurance. Come on, calculator. So uh, 6,570 times the 30%. $1,971 for the year. We want to know per pay period. So we take that 1971 and we divide it by 12. So per pay period, it's $164.25. All right, let's try that one more time. <clears throat> Step number one, uh, get the employee. If the employer pays one, uh, 80%, the employee is going to go 100 minus 80. It's 20%. And then take our annual cost and times it by that 20%. Uh, be careful with your zeros here. Um, I have a tendency to like drop a zero just randomly, so make sure that you guys are getting all of your zeros. So for the year, the employee pays $2,400. So we take that 2,400 and we divide it by the amount of weeks in a year because they're getting paid weekly. And it's $46.15. All right, so that is lesson 2.5, group health insurance. Thank you guys for hanging with me today.